South Australia to block the New South Wales national emergency. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee. It appears a national emergency is occurring in New South Wales, or at least that's what's being put forward and some other states are going to have their input into that. Let's, before we have a look at South Australia's attempts or push to block the declaration of a national emergency in New South Wales, let's look at some numbers. Okay, it's the 23rd of July 2021, and we've had 136 new local cases in New South Wales. Five are acquired overseas, 141 total new cases, 7,303 cases since January 25. They've done over 86,000 tests in the last 24 hours, 8.3 million in total, 137 people are in hospital, and 32 are in ICU. And unfortunately, they've had 61 deaths out of that. We, if we scroll down here, we can see their vaccination program. 25,000 doses administered in the hospital in, by New South Wales Health in the last 24 hours, and 3.2 million overall. 1.2 by New South Health, and 2 million with a few over, by GPs. Now, we need to put this in perspective, everyone. Though you need to look at how you can manage your risks. You need to look at, well, the fear that is being put out there by the media. Don't let yourself be overcome with fear, everyone. You know, be rational, rational. Look at what you can control and look at what you can use to mitigate your risks. But let's have a look at the New South Wales National Emergency, everyone. Because we all remember, New South Wales is the centre of all of Australia. So, South Australian Premier Stephen Marshall to block New South Wales' plea for vaccine supply. Health authorities in New South Wales will deliver a desperate plea for more vaccines as its COVID-19 crisis worsens, but one state will say no. South Australia will block... Gladys Berejiklian's plea for national vaccine supplies to be diverted to New South Wales as the state plunges further into COVID-19 crisis. The eastern state reported its highest number of new local cases for the current outbreak on Friday, with another 136 infections added to the outbreak, and health authorities have issued a desperate pitch for help. Chief Health Officer Kerry Chant said she was recommending strongly that all vaccine initiatives be redirected to the epicentre of the state's outbreak in southwest Sydney, and the Premier confirmed she would take the request to National Cabinet on Friday. I think those are conversations we need to have, Ms Berejiklian said. But South Australian Premier Stephen Marshall told reporters on Friday morning he would block the plea from his Liberal counterpart as his state grapples with an outbreak of its own. South Australia was plunged into a seven-day lockdown on Tuesday evening, and Mr. Marshall said he was committed to rejecting any request that slows down its pathway to easing restrictions. The hurt being felt by South Australian businesses and individuals is very high, he said on Friday morning. We've got a national framework, and I would suggest we stick with that. We have an an equitable distribution on vaccine doses based on population. We've received our share, and we need that share to continue. We don't want to be put in a more vulnerable situation here in South Australia. There you go. I mean, what didn't wasn't Kevin Rudd organising additional vaccines for us? What what happened to that? I I thought he was, you know, with his connections. Didn't he make a phone call? What did that disappear? Did that not happen? Mr. Marshall didn't rule out accepting a change in the share of vaccine supplies later in the month when SA had contained its outbreak and a greater supply of jabs has arrived in Australia. I'm sure there will be a respectful and robust discussion in National Cabinet today, but from South Australia's perspective, I'm not wanting to send any of our vaccine doses anywhere else, he said. We're in the middle of a major emergency, a major emergency declaration and a lockdown in South Australia. South Australia reported one new case of COVID-19 on Friday, which was detected in quarantine and linked to a known cluster. It's early days, the Premier said. We're day three of a seven-day lockdown, but all of the early indicators are positive, and I am hopeful that we will come out on seven days, as I said at the outset. We have cause for optimism, but we're only, we've only got cause for optimism because of the great cooperation we've had from the people of South Australia. 
The update comes as health authorities grapple to contain an outbreak with thousands in quarantine and about 100 close contacts of existing infections ordered into many hotel facilities on Thursday. Chief Health Officer Nicole Spurrier said the new case was a man in his 60s who had attended a winery already known as an infection site in Tenafeed Creek Wines. But what made me very pleased when my team was giving me this briefing was that his first test was negative, the professor said. The time between being exposed and potential exposures on Monday are not an issue because he was not infectious in the community. Fantastic. Some good news. He was quarantining at home with his wife, developed symptoms, and he did exactly the right thing. The man's wife has since been transferred to a Medi hotel to be closely monitored by authorities given her escalated risk of infection. Professor Spurrier said, The new case is the eighth to be linked to the winery, which she described as a super-spreading site. South Australia has 79 exposure sites on its alert list. So, I mean, there you go, everyone. It looks like the states are trying to compete with each other for the doses of the vaccine. And that's where criticism should be put towards our federal parliament. Can you blame people, honestly, for not wanting to rush out or for people being hesitant, particularly to get AstraZeneca, when you're seeing what's happening in the media? You know, you don't, what, what's, what's young people? People my age. People my age. I wouldn't be rushing out to get it. I'd be waiting for something else more established, maybe the Pfizer one. Why, isn't it, why are, is Australia, well, why are we getting the poor cousin? That's the real question. So there we have it, everyone. South Australia wants to block New South Wales pleas for more vaccinations. Will this evolve into a national emergency? We'll have to wait and see. You can have a look at the numbers here. Only 32 in ICU. That's good. You don't want many people needing to have emergent or in intensive care for this. That's a good sign. Hopefully it can continue to remain low and head down. As always, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this one in the comments down below. Thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you're a fan and enjoy the content I create, here are a few ways you can support us. You can join us on YouTube or Patreon. You can sign up for our affiliate links at Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve, or Aussie Broadband. You can use Self Wealth or Stake, buy a merch from Heiser Says, use Gold Pass from the Perth Mint, or support us via PayPal. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.